Oh, um, obviously tough loss. Credit to Bryant. You know, James, I thought, did a great job. Uh, they played a good game. The kids played hard. Um, did a great job. The kid made a great kick down at the end. So, you know, interesting game. I'm sure it's fun to watch, but obviously, you know, you can't spot uh, a team 21 points and you can't make the mistakes we did in the second half, um, holding calls and all that stuff. So, we have to play better football. You know, we have to take this week and get better, eliminate the mistakes, and, and go from there. What did you guys do to get the team up coming off of that 21 to 3 deficit? Just, you know, welcome them back to the game, to be honest with you. I mean, they, they didn't even, uh, you know, I didn't have them obviously prepared out the gate. So, um, you know, so we, we got to do a better job with our, with our preparation and getting these guys amped up out of the locker room and ready to fight. So. That's I take that. That's obviously my fault. And, you know, something we'll address moving forward. But you know, they did a great job. You know, did a great job. And you know, we always talk about playing the next play, and they did. So. And over the last two games, you've had to score over 40 points after really struggling earlier in the year. What what's been different in the offense the past two games? Uh, I think you know we've gotten a little bit better play out of our offensive line. You know, we still have some protection issues, but you know, those guys are doing a better job in the run game. And I think Tyreek and Naeem have been running great. Practicing, you know, those two practice really well. They work their tails off. So uh, it's just been exciting to have them back there. And you mentioned the defensive struggles, but particularly the run, they seem to make it get it at points. Was there something in particular that was the problem there? Uh, you know, gaps moving fast, and, and we had some guys get, you know, taken over. Um, we're, we're a little banged up, so we're not rotating a lot of guys. So I don't know if fatigue was a factor or not, but, you know, we can't make excuses. You know, we got a job to do. And, I know Coach Vallone will, will work with those guys to uh, to get it correct. Well, what did you say to Tim after his first quarter? He came out a little slow. Just said, hey, hey, man, you know, get rid of the ball, right? Make your reads. Don't get hung up on stuff, right? See what you see, take what they give you, and let's go. So the offense, you know, tell every quarterback I've ever had. The offense, they're not the show, right? The, the Everybody's the show. So it's designed for them to distribute the ball, and, and I thought he did a real nice job of that. Um, you know, obviously Austin and Corey are weapons. I thought Joe Ferraro played a really good game. Hunter had a really big catch. And, and uh, you know, Isaiah is always Isaiah, and he always attracts a lot of attention. So we just got to continue to utilize our weapons moving forward. And you spotted in 21, but that you brought it back to 20. What did you say to the team at the half to get them out and make sure they're in? So let's go. You know, so if you leave this locker room, all right, you're getting ready for a fight. And, uh, and it certainly was in the second half. It was back and forth. Credit to their kids. They did a great job. And, you know, it's and a good game. For next week, uh, like you mentioned, getting off to a faster start, what, what will you be saying to them this week, like leading up to that game? <laughs> <laughs> it's a great question because, I mean, uh, what do we have, a field goal in the first yeah. quarter right now? Yeah. Um, I got to do some, maybe change up the practice schedule so we come right out of stretch with, uh, with the period or something like that. But. We got to figure something out. I got to do a better job calling plays early. You know, stop trying to feel them out. Start trying to, you know, push the thing down the field and things like that. So, um, you know, when it all comes down to it, right, it starts at the top. So, head guys got to be better. Was there any thought about going for two at the end of the half? A little bit, but you know, you don't go for two. Typically, conventional wisdom, I should say. So mm -hmm. Mike Leach would probably tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> but you don't go for two until you need to go for two. And the game evolved in the uh, in the second half into a kind of a shootout. How confident were you that Tim would be able to just, you know, keep up and actually surpass for a while? Well, with how he was playing, you know, at second quarter into the second half, you know, he felt great about Timmy. When he gets it dialed in, I, mean, I don't know what he was. Um, 19 to 28, 2, 228 and 4. Take that from your quarterback any day of the week. So, Timmy had a great game. Didn't, didn't turn the ball over, no interceptions. Ran the ball, I thought, really well. So, you know, it's frustrating, um, but you got to move on. Can you speak on the job that your special teams did? did a two block field goals. Yeah, Scotty does a great job with that, Coach Fallone, and, and our defense really focuses on that, and, and they did an unbelievable job. So, really, really happy um, with the effort they put in. Um, you know, I, I think the last two weeks, the special teams have done a really good job. I like our energy, you know, on kickoff team and things like that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, really excited about the job Coach Fogarty's doing with those guys. You know, it's just, we just got to keep it going, process. Anything you're going to do differently on defense moving forward to try and limit some of the big plays? Um, 
they'll have answers. I know that. You know, for the, for seven, you know, six out of seven, those guys, have, in my opinion, done a great job. You know, we've kind of hung them out to dry. So, um, and I'm sure there's fixable issues that you know we just have to go into the film room and hammer out. So, I'm confident uh, Paul and his staff will will come up with what the answer is going to the next week. We'll sit down tomorrow and talk about it. And, uh, but. We just need to, you know, it's great to see Noah Fitzgerald come up with a big play. We just need to see, you know, we have guys near. We just need to have guys making plays. How confident were you in the defense going into that? Very, very, right. yeah. And then, you know, the, the, the frustrating thing is the the false start on fourth and, uh, or the offsides on fourth and fourth. That was, you know, they've done it already. Those guys, you know, I get the situation. Those guys should have been, should have been amped up. Um, you know, maybe I should have used the timeout there to, to calm them down. Once again, maybe something I could have done better.